Yeah, this is affecting a lot of people tonight, Brent and Sarah, and about more than 275,000 people have actually been diagnosed with diabetes. An additional 79,000 people have it, but don't know it. That's according to the American Diabetes Association. Needless to say, today's news is welcoming when prices for just about everything else seem to be going up. For too long, people have been rationing the use of the insulin because the cost was so high. Not only diabetes became a medical condition for them, it actually became a financial condition for them. Eli Lilly, the nation's largest drug maker for insulin, announced Wednesday that they would be cutting insulin prices by 70 percent and capping the out-of-pocket expense for patients to $35, something Connecticut already has in place. In 2020, Governor Ned Lamont signed a law that would cap the cost of insulin for state-regulated insurance plans to $25. I'm so proud of being part of the state and also being a co-sponsor of the bill that actually limited and capped the cost of insulin in Connecticut. State Senator Saud Anwar, who leads the Public Health Committee in the General Assembly, said as a state leader and as a doctor himself, he hopes other companies follow Eli Lilly's lead. I wish they had done this uh, many, many years ago, but I do think that this is a starting point and other companies should do this as well. Eli Lilly's CEO said that oftentimes discounts don't always reach patients, but this would be much needed financial relief as inflation continues to put pressure on the budgets of many Americans. There are so many challenges in the healthcare system. The cost of healthcare is going up, the cost of medications is going up, uh, the number of people who are actually in the healthcare field are decreasing because they don't get enough salaries or enough quality of life. All of those things are something that we have to make a policy not only for today, but about tomorrow. Senator Anwar also told me that the Public Health Committee is eyeing other drugs to pass similar price cap policies, which would include epinephrine and Narcan, which he says should be costly and accessible in our state. However, there is currently no bill addressing the issue in the session so far. In studio, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.